So this is Ms. Prasaja and I'll be teaching you how to make simple artwork using Desmos Online Calculator. So the really great thing about Desmos Graphing Calculator is you don't actually have to install anything for it. So basically all you need to do is go to www.desmos.com slash calculator or if you can't remember it that long, um, just go to desmos.com and you'll be taken to this page and it says launch calculator so just press that and that launches the online graphing calculator so it gives you this kind of interface so um, basically here is where you'll be able to write down the equations for your graph and then it'll automatically graph it for you so I will recommend that you guys make an account because when you make an account that enables you to save your work otherwise you'll have to keep retyping and retyping your equations over and over again and that's just tedious so I recommend that you make an account using whatever email you have okay um, so first things first um, this is the part where I teach you how to write the equations based on graphs. So basically you can write um, whatever equation you like. So let's say I want a line. So let's say y is equal to 3x plus 5. Okay, so that's, this already gives me a line. So that's in red. And then if you deselect the equation, it gives you that. You also have the option of choosing projector mode using this part um, right here. But Quite frankly, I'm not a big fan of projector mode unless I want my drawings to just look cute or whatever. Because otherwise, it's very hard to see where the intersections actually lie. So I'm going to turn off projector mode right here. Um, okay, so I'm going to delete this because now I am going to start making a butterfly. Uh, so this is, I'm going to start with a semi-ellipse, with a vertical semi-ellipse, something like this. So this is x squared. So my my origin is going to be, I'm sorry, my center is going to be at the origin. So let's say x squared, and then I want it to go two units along the x-axis. So 2 squared, that's 4, plus y squared over, hmm, let's say, 5 units up. So 5 squared, 25, is equal to 1. Alright, so th that gives us this semi-ellipse. Now it's a little too large, so I'm going to zoom out using my click wheel, my scroll wheel. Oh, there you go. Okay, now I'm gonna make. Um, I'm gonna start making the wings using a couple. No, using a hyperbola. So I want it to look like this. So I'm just gonna copy paste this, and then I'm just gonna change it into minus. Okay. Now I can actually work with this hyperbola, but it's a little too fat. No, it's a little too flat. And I want it to be fatter. So I'm going to change it into, let's say, 60? Mm, more. 8? Oh, this is actually pretty good. But um, I kind of want it, I kind of want the wings to end somewhere here. So let's say, like, 7. Okay, that's perfect. So it ends somewhere here. So um, I'm going to be cutting off the hyperbola at negative 4.957 comma 6. So I'm going to limit our domain and range. Basically, I want every, I only want the x values in between negative 4.957 and positive 4.957. So I'm going to use our curly braces. Negative 4.957 should be less than x should be less than positive 4.957. And there you have it. You have our hyperbola and it's only we're only taking the x values between negative 4.957 and positive 4.957. All right. So I'm going to continue by making a semi ellipse from here up to let's say here. So that's how many units now? 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8. Okay, that's perfect. So my center is going to be this. So that is negative 5, positive 2. And I'm going to be taking uh, 
the left half of a SEBI ellipse, so that's isolating the negative x values. So x plus 5 is equal to, um, let's say, 5 over 4 square root. So when I'm making the square root sign, I just typed SQRT. The square root of 16 minus um, y plus, oh, I'm sorry, y minus, what was it again? T. And then squared. So if you'll notice, if you don't put the squared sign, that is um, giving you the wrong type of graph. Okay, as I mentioned, that's going to be the negative x values. I forgot to put that in. Okay, now my wings are a little too fat. So I'm going to limit this part. So it's five units going to the left and I don't want it to be like that. Let's say I only want it around three units. Ah, there we go. Okay, now the beautiful thing about Desmos when you're using it on a desktop is you can copy paste stuff. So I'm pretty much just going to copy paste this so that I can put it on this side. Now when I put it on that side, it's going to be the positive x values and then I need to translate it. So I need to translate it so many units to the right so that means it's going to be x minus 5. So there you go. Alright, that's perfect. And then I'm going to use a semicircle for this part. So basically x minus 5 is equal to, I'm sorry, x plus 5 is equal to the square root of, no, negative square root of, what is this? Uh, my radius is going to be 2, so 2 squared, 4 minus, and then y mm, plus, it's going to be here, so that's negative plus 4, y plus 4 squared. There you go. And then once again, I'm going to copy paste it, put it here. It's going to be positive values, and then it's going to be x minus 5. There you go, that is great. I think uh, that looks like a great butterfly. I'm going to end it by adding two antennae here. So my antennae is going, are going to be a couple of parabolas. So they're going to be downward facing parabolas. So it's supposed to be x that is squared. So x is x. Mm, it's going to be here. So plus 1 squared is equal to negative or, I don't know, just putting a random number there, for y. Mm -hmm. That's too low, so it has to be y minus 6. Oh, there we go. But it's a little too wide, so I'm going to get rid of this. Maybe make it a 2. No, maybe make... Oh, that's perfect. That's very convenient. All right. And then I'm going to cut it so that we only get the y values that are above positive 5. So again, with my curly braces, y values that are above or greater than positive 5. So there you go. And then I'm going to copy paste once again. And then I'm going to just change this one here into negative, into a minus, so that now we have two antennae. Great. Okay, now, um, if you click edit list, you can actually change the colors and the styles of your graphs. So say for example, I want my wings to be purple. No, I want my wings to be blue and my antennae to be red. Okay, you can also change it into like, uh, okay, I want my antennae to consist of broken lines and then this is going to be uh, blue, sorry. This is blue, this is blue. Everything is blue except for this should also be blue. And then the body of the butterfly, I'm going to change it into edit list. I'm going to change it to, let's say, orange. Or just orange. Okay, that's perfect. Done. Okay, now we actually have our finished butterfly here. If we put it back to projector mode, you can see it a little bit more clearly now. And you have your list of equations here. So that's pretty much it. It's actually not that hard to make. A drawing based on using conic sections using Desmos online calculator. So you can save it here, save changes, and then just say the title Butterfly.